hello students welcome back to my channel in today video i am going to work out the finite element method course important concepts under j and u h for r18 regulation mechanical department 3 to subject let us look at the unit wise important concepts before going to that a student should have a better knowledge on the course mechanics of solids as well as certain mathematical calculations and usage of the calculator in a very fast manner why because the complete finite element methods course is related to the problematic 90 percent of the problematic in your question paper and we can expect only 10 percent of theory whereas the complete course is related to matrices and you should be able to work out the calculator usage uh, in order to complete the problem in a given span of time to write five questions out of eight as it is a covid pattern let us look at the unit 1. The unit 1 important questions I have sorted out here is that the first and the foremost thing is the uh, explain the step by step procedure for formulating the equation for finite element methods. This may be one of the 7 mark question. Later the Pascal strangle and Pascal's tetrahedron for formulation of interpolation functions and its salient features. Later, the applications and limitations of finite element methods is asked many times and we can expect this to be a gun shot question for a 8 mark dear students. From unit 1, we can expect 2 questions for this time, why because it is a lengthy, a lengthy course and the lengthy uh, structure in its unit 1. Later, the plane stress as well as the plane strain body and along with its example and the relations for strain displacement as well as stress strain and the problems related to this. This from here till from here to here, the question may be 1 A as well as B dear students. Do not forget to work out this all as it is a problematic subject. Many people feel that this is one of the sub uh, tough subject and keep a backlog in this. Please do not make a backlog in this subject. Why why? Because from the next year, the paper pattern may be the short questions as well as long questions where you need to work lot that time. Later, the second question may be from 1D bar element related to the global stiffness matrix as well as global load vector. You need to work out problems, a variety of the problems and then only you are going to clear this course. Later, calculate nodal displacement as well as force for a stepped bar as well as a beam. There also, this is also a problem dear students. Sometimes the second question they are asking for direct 15 mark. And later, a small definition may be related to quadratic shape functions and explain them. These all are about the unit 1 dear students and make sure to concentrate much on problems and do not forget to carry the calculator to your examination hall. Later, unit 2 is all about the trusses. We are going, they are going to ask you about the derived the plane trusses for the stiffness matrix or the strain energy or the load vector and problem related to it. Later, it consists of two questions here also in the unit 2. One may be a gunshot question from the trusses. The another question is a gunshot question from the beams. That is all about the load vector for two noded element uniformly distributed load along with that the problem may be asked. Sometimes they may be asking the derivations as well as the B question may be the problem dear students. Later, determine the forces in the memory numbers of the stresses this is a pakka damn sure question for a 10 mark in your examination later to find the deflections in the beam as well as the problems related to it if you work out these four concepts i make sure you that that from these four concepts you are going to get for sure two questions 100 percent as per the analysis done from the previous year question papers as well as the syllabus of the course finite element methods later unit 3 is all about uh, the constant strain triangles and it is all about the 2d stress analysis with CST, a load vector and the stresses, a derivation or the problem dear students. And we can expect even two questions also even from unit 3. Later, axisymmetrical solids subjected to axisymmetrical loading triangular element is one of the gunshot question related to axisymmetrical solids dear student and the problem related to it. And 2D four noded isoparametric elements is also one of the important as well as 2D four node for the shape functions is a 
5 mark, 8 mark question dear students and the stiffness matrix for 3 noded axis symmetrical triangular element is repeatedly asked in the previous year question paper and we can expect these to be the fifth question and these sorry these may be the fifth question and these two may be the sixth question dear students. Later Gaussian quadrature method for solving 2D integral equation as well as the problems related to it. Do not just work out with only the derivation and do expect even sometimes direct 15 mark question related to the problem in the course FEM. Later the fourth unit is all related to the heat uh, heat related as well as the thermal I mean the conductivity matrix derive a conductivity matrix conductivity matrix for three noded triangular thin plate having thermal conductivity. This is all related about the heat transfer applying the concept on to finite element methods on different uh, I mean the cons com composite slab as well as the bar. Later determine the temperature of the composite slab and the problems related to it and derive the conductivity matrix for a fin element based on connectivity boundary conditions. If you are perfect with these concepts for sure of these three concepts you will be getting one derivation or the problem many times from the fourth unit the question is asked direct and that is 15 mark. Later the fifth unit is all about the eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, applying on a stepped bar truss as well as beam and calculating the mass matrix if you are perfect with the earlier units then only you could able to work out the fifth unit dear students why because you should know a minimum knowledge on bars trusses as well as beams then only you can value you can insert the values of eigenvalues eigenvectors as well as the mass matrix calculation is very very important and we can expect this to be a gunshot question as well as the advantages limitations of a commercial softwares over other available softwares if it is asked for 8 marks this is a pakka sure question later a 3d problem stress analysis and its convergent requirement is also asked sometimes but whereas these two questions can be expected to be as a gunshot question from the unit 5 as you are taking your mid 2 please do work out unit 4 and unit 5 accordingly to score a better mark these all are the five units important concepts related to the course finite element methods please do work out accordingly and clear the subject in the single attempt first attempt and do not forget to draw the diagrams only in pencil and do not forget to uh, take carry your calculator and practice the problems before going to the exam make sure you are going to work accordingly and score better mark as this is one of the scoring subject please do work out accordingly for more videos and the concepts related to engineering please do subscribe and share my channel as well as do not forget to like my channel thank you good luck and god bless you all